Today I am going to be talking about implementing Flyaway with Spring Boot for database migrations. So when we're developing software, we have a process that is already used called version control. And this allows you to keep track of different versions of your software as it's being released to the different environments like test and production. On the database side, uh, usually there's not so much of this. Sometimes these changes to the database is done manually, which isn't the best practice. And what Flyway allows us to do is implement version control on these databases. And we can also track what changes went in. And it helps us keep uh, each environment aligned so let's say, for example, you're a developer and you're developing a new feature on a web application. And so you have, you may change it to the database and it's kind of different from what's currently in production. Uh, let's say, for example, that there was an issue in production and they need you to check it out. With Flyway, what you can do is you can uh, make a you with the version control you can deploy that version of the production database schema to your local so you can uh, troubleshoot it better before we start this journey in implementing flyway with spring boot the first uh there's a few things we need that is java maven and also SQL Server. You can get a uh, free download of SQL Server through Microsoft, and I'll put links in the description for the download. But what you want to do is you get the developer install, and once that's done, they will uh, request uh, if you'd like to install SSMS. And once you have that set up, we can uh, get started with the tutorial. The first thing you want to do is go to start.spring.io and this will allow you to create uh, Spring Boot projects on the go. Uh, so once you get here we'll go ahead and select uh, the, we want to use Maven for our build, Java, Snapshot uh, version 3, and then Java version 17. And you can go ahead and uh, fill out this group information with whatever you'd like. I'm gonna put this as a flyaway demo. And then demo project for Spring Boot and flyaway. Okay, so the dependencies we wanna add here are, um, let's add JPA and flyaway of course. Because we're using SQL Server, we want to add SQL Server driver. Once you have all the dependencies uh, added in, you can validate that they're correct through the Explorer. And then go ahead and generate the project. Um, so once the project is downloaded, go to the uh, folder location and then save it in a, a place that you'll be able to get to later. All right, so once the project is built, I'm gonna notice a few things here. On your uh, left side, you'll notice there's a DB migration file, and this is where we're gonna be storing the SQL files for uh, Flyway. And here you'll see the different dependencies that were added through the initializer. So we got the Flyway core and the Flyway SQL server. And now we're gonna go ahead and add some properties into here. I'm just gonna grab these real quick, paste them in. All right, so basically what we're doing is we're setting the port to 8084, and then I'm connecting to this SQL server at localhost database name test and we're going to go ahead and add this database and the SA user. I'm going to show how to do that 
and then also troubleshoot adding some troubleshooting steps uh, one thing you want to do is after you get SQL server set up you want to go into the SQL server configuration manager and open up this SQL server network configuration protocols for SQL server and you want to enable the TCP IP connection here so make sure to enable that connection also you can restart your server by going into the configuration manager and run it through here restart it here okay so now that we have these uh, properties set up for Flyway and SQL Server, we need to create the database and also the SA user to sign in and log in. Okay. And what, what you want to do is you want to open up S SMS right here. I already have one open already. Once it's opened, you want to log in to your computer. You can log in through your with your regular authentication. And so we can see here there's no databases. So we want to right click on the databases, create new database. And the database name is going to be test, same as the properties file. And now what we want to do is we want to create the SA user that's going to log into this application. I I already have the SA user set up, uh, but what you want to do is go to security, new, login, and then it'll ask you to create the new user. Uh, you want to make sure to select SQL Server Authentication and then change the password policy. Uh, don't enforce password policy, just simplify it for now because this is a, a demo application. Then you should just change the password to the whatever you'd like to set it to. We also want to make sure the server roles are public and sysadmin, user mapping, DB owner, public. And th this will uh, give the SA user uh, you know, privileged access because we're just doing this for demo purposes. So now that we have our application configured and the database and user set up, let's go ahead and try and run it. So you can go to the Java and then the group name and your application name and find the Flyway demo application. From here you can uh, run it and we'll see if that database connection was successful. All right. It looks like the connection was successful. Another thing we can try to test if you want to um, try and uh, debug your user account that you created, you can go, uh, log in through SQL Server and try and do the server SQL Server authentication method. So let's give that a try. So I can see the user connected successfully and it also connected successfully to the application. All right, so now that we have a running application, what we can do is add the migration steps in now. And Flyway has a very specific way on how you need to name the files. Uh, so it kind of matches this pattern that you have to follow. So the version number, and then you can give it a title, initializing schema. So Flyway also uses SQL to do these migrations. I'm going to do another tutorial on LiquidBase, and that one has uh, different file types that you can use, like XML. Now that we have our uh, v1 initializing schema SQL file, we can go ahead and add some data to it. So let's create a table called cars. Create table cars. 
And what type of uh, object does car have? It has a VIN. We're just going to do this pretty simple. Bar char 255. Uh, make bar char. Model bar char. And then we're going to create a uh, primary key constant cars EQ primary. Key is going to be the VIN. All right, so now that we have created this initializing schema SQL, we can go ahead and run the Flyway application again. This time we should see that it added something into our database. So I saw it ran the version one initializing schema. If I go to the SQL database and look into test, expand on tables, we'll see that it created the cars database and it added the columns, VIN, make, and model. All right, so we were able to successfully add a new table into the database. Now, let's say we wanna change a category in that table. Let's go ahead and uh, do that. So we're gonna create a new change, v2 under, underscore underscore add category to cars SQL. So this add category to cars, we're gonna alter the table cars table and add a release date. Okay, we're gonna add a date into that table. Let's go ahead and run this and uh, see what happens. Uh-oh. Okay, so we got incorrect syntax, the keyword and. My bad, it's supposed to be add. Uh, let's try that again. Okay, so it ran version two. Let's validate that in the database. Select, and we have a release here. Okay, so that's good. Now what we can do is add some data into that table okay so let's go ahead and add that new table uh, add data into that new table so we're going to add another file called v3 underscore underscore insert car wrx into cars dot sql Okay, so we're gonna add a, we're gonna create a WRX and add it to our database. Insert into cars, and we're gonna add the VIN, the make model, and the release date uh, with the values. Let's make up a VIN Z seven T T S N seven T T S. Uh, the make is a Subaru. The model is a WRX, and the release date. I am going to add a method to handle that which is going to be cast get date as date and this will 
just create a, a timestamp whenever this uh, script is run. So we'll go ahead, save all that, and I will run this in Spring Boot. Okay, we got a typo. It's not release date, it's released. Okay. Or it's not released. Okay, so now if we check the database and run a select on it, we're going to see that it added that car into the database in today's date as well, which is great. Okay, so that was my uh, tutorial on Spring Boot and Flyway. Let me know what you think.